boys and girls, I thought that I would give you a little bit of information about chickens today. I know that we had wanted to hatch eggs in our classroom and I'm hoping that that will still work um, when we get back. But in the meantime, here's a little bit of chicken info. So this is our chicken coop. We have five hens and one rooster. There's our rooster, that's the white guy right there. Hens don't need a rooster to lay eggs. They can lay eggs, any hen can lay an egg each day. Um, they get about, I think the average is 23 eggs a month. So they don't lay one every day, but we get between maybe two to three eggs a day with our five girls. Rooster's main job here at our house is to protect the girls. He is always watching out for them and making sure that everybody's together. Roosters can make a lot of different noises. Besides that cock-a-doodle-doo we hear, hear early in the morning, our rooster likes to tell the girls where the food is. He gets very excited. Go ahead, Ave, try it. She's gonna sprinkle some scratch out and we'll listen to his sounds. Hey, can you hear him? He's telling all the girls, come on, gather around. Even the bunny likes to get in. This is Rosie. She's about three years old and chickens can live to be seven. Our rooster is two years old and he's a very friendly guy. Rosie and all the other chickens on this farm, they all molt, which means that their feathers fall out and they grow new feathers. Fluffball here, a few fun facts about him are that he was actually born in your school. My mom had him in their classroom. And another fun fact is that Fluffball is a, a white rooster, as you can tell, but he actually has one black feather right here. Polly always likes to be underfoot when I'm cleaning out the chicken coop. She's still helping. The chickens like to spend a lot of time sitting in the sun. They like to dust bathe, helps keep their feathers clean. And one of the places they like to do this is where Polly lives. Well, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed today's virtual tour and learning a little bit about chickens. I miss all of you, and I cannot wait to be together again learning in our classroom. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.